Hey, fellow Wanderers, today we are at Caesar's Palace. Uh, we got ourselves a room for the night. We are going to check it out, and we are going to give you all the insides and out on this great casino and hotel. So come on, let's go check it out. All right, how's everybody doing? We are at Caesar's Palace, and I believe, Anne, what is this, the Colosseum Tower? Colosseum Tower. Colosseum Tower. We were upgraded, which we were thrilled that they did that for us. And this room is looking pretty legit. So let's check it out. Come on. Right here. Big TV. Big TV. That's got to be at least, what, a 50-inch, wouldn't you say, Ann? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's check out these drawers here. Well, it's not a drawer. There are pullouts here for everything that you got. Look at that. Over here, another drawer situation along with your safe for valuables. If you're into the mini bars, they have that. We're not touching this. <laughs> Moving on. We do have a Keurig here for morning coffee, which we might burn it out with how much coffee we drink. The bed looks like a real nice bed. We'll test that out in a little bit and see how soft that is. We got a nice lounge sofa here to just sit and relax, read a book, whatever. This place has a lot of lights in it, which I most, I'd say half of the places we've been in at least, very dimly lit in Vegas. This one is nice and bright. Some art on the walls over here. I don't know if you can see this. Nice art right here. They've got so you can put your phone there and charge it overnight. Cordless charging along with some USBs. This, we have it cranked all the way down to 65 to get the AC going in here because it's warm right now. Check this out. <laughs> this bathroom is dead on. Look at this shower. Look at this shower. That is a great shower. It's also got or the, the shower head that comes off. It's got a rain shower head, seat over here, full sink, more drawers. You have a hair dryer down here if you need it. A mirror up here. Once again, very nicely lit in here. Your own separate toilet area, which is nice. And swing around here in. And then this is your closet where you have hangers. You can hang everything, ironing boards, iron, and so on. So that is the quick tour of this room. We will let you know how that bed is, and along with all the other amenities this place has. And we're going to go check out the pool here soon. Uh, it's hot. I would love to jump into the pool and cool off. So let's go try it. The cost of this room for one night was really reasonable, as Anne found us a great deal online. All in, we came in at just under $110 for the night. All right, one thing to note, when you do check in and have a room in the Coliseum Tower, at least, not sure about the other ones, is right here. This controls your drapes. So if we took and put in here the shears, and then we press up or down, as you will see, it raises the shears. And you can also do it with the blackout drapes. So you hit the button for the blackout drapes, and then the blackout drapes will shut as well. So that is how you operate the drapes. Hey, Chris just popping in here to say thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell to be alerted of all of our new upcoming videos. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, and we appreciate you subscribing. Thanks a lot. And here we are at the pool area, just as we promised. It was a really hot day at around 100 degrees. This has to be one of the nicest pool areas in all of Las Vegas. There are actually seven total pools here, and they are all fabulous. The Garden of the Gods Pool Oasis area is open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. from March till October. The main pool area is called the Temple Pool. This area is really busy and where most of the lounge chairs are located. 
Surrounding this pool are the day beds that are an extra purchase starting at around $75 and go up to about $150. There's a full service bar as well and the wait staff will bring you a drink if you need one. Be aware, drink prices were a little bit on the higher end here. We found this pool to be a little bit on the cold side, but with the temperatures as high as they were, it felt great. Something else to take note of is they do not allow any toys or floats in the pools. From the temple pool, we will make our way towards this beautiful fountain and into the Neptune pool area. The Neptune pool is the largest pool and has a standard rectangle shape with daybeds and cabanas around the edge. Adjacent to the Neptune pool is the Fortuna pool, which has a wonderful waterfall coming down around the bar area. You can also play blackjack at the swim up tables. This is open till 5 p.m. The Jupiter pool is up and off to the side of the Fortuna pool area, but it was closed on the day that we were here. If you're a seven star member, then you have access to the Bacchus pool area up above. After the temple pool, we gave the Venus pool a try. This is an adults only pool and you will need an ID to get in. The water here seemed to be slightly warmer than the water in the temple pool. The other thing we liked is it seemed to have a decent amount of lounge chairs that were not too far away from the pool. The Venus pool also has a night swim for 21 and over on Friday and Saturdays from 7 p.m. until midnight, so keep that in mind. The Venus pool wasn't very busy and Ann and I did have a great time here and actually preferred it a little bit more than the temple pool. The last pool was the Apollo pool. This pool seemed to be pretty chilled and laid back on the day that we were here and it wasn't very busy at all. Off of the Apollo pool area is a hidden gem, the Juno Garden. This quiet and pristine garden area is set up for the perfect wedding venue. All right, let's take a look at the complex itself. I shot this footage at about 7 a.m. in the morning and it was already starting to get busy. I spent some time admiring these two beautiful water fountains, which are some of the most famous on the strip. On the south side of the fountains is where you will find Hell's Kitchen. And next to that is the Purple Zebra Daiquiri Bar. Inside the Green Fairy Garden and inside this tent is where the Absinthe Show plays. The show is like an adult circus with a combination of burlesque, comedy, and acrobatics. Prices for the show range from the mid $100 range up to about $200. Terraza is an outdoor seating venue with food, cocktails, and a climate controlled patio area. From here we'll make our way into the main lobby of Caesars Palace. Along with Caesars Palace being an iconic hotel and casino in many of the movies like Rain Man and Iron Man, its lobby is also famous and was featured in the Hangover movie. Since this is such a confusing complex, I will be including a map to show you where we are along the way. From the lobby, we'll make our way up towards the Omnia nightclub. We will first walk by Brioche by Guy Savoy if you get hungry for French pastries or sandwiches. They also have various coffees. Coming up on our right, we will find Stanton Social Prime Restaurant. This is an upscaled steak restaurant and across from it is Apollo Bar and Lounge. Making our way up towards the Omnia nightclub, you will see the Amalfi by Bobby Flay on the left, the Race and Sportbook Bar straight ahead, and the massive doors to the Omnia nightclub on your right. Now let's make our way past the poker room on your right and straight towards the entrance to Amalfi by Bobby Flay to see what the place is like inside. This has a really nice ambiance inside. Next to that is the Vista Lounge and Bar. 
Now we will make our way towards the Colosseum. Here is the box office where you can pick up tickets for some really great acts like Adele, Jerry Seinfeld, and Garth Brooks. Moving on down by the Coliseum Tower is Dominique Ansel, where you can pick up some unbelievable pastries by the French chef. If you're feeling futuristic, you could try the world's first fully automated cookie shot robot known as the cookie shot vending machine found here as well. Next to Dominique Ansel's is Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill, an authentic English pub experience. Just past Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill, you will find the food court. Here is where you can get a bunch of quick eats along with having a Starbucks located here. We did try Chicken Guy's Chicken Tenders and it was extremely good and not that pricey either. We have had pizza and hamburgers and shakes at some of the other places here as well and it was all very good and not that bad on prices compared to some other places. Towards the entrance to the forum shops you will see the Vanderpump Cocktail Garden on the right. And next to the food court is the Stadia Bar. If you continue down this hallway, it will lead you to Enterprise, Rent-A-Car, and the parking garage. Back at the Coliseum Tower elevators, we will make our way down this hallway. Here you will eventually come across the David statue replica. In the center of this hub is where you will find the Apostrophe Bar. Moving on down the hallway, you will come across Peter Luger's Steakhouse, a world-famous restaurant known for excellent steaks and more. And beyond that is Mr. Chow, an upscale Chinese restaurant. Across from Peter Luger's Steakhouse and Mr. Chow is Pronto by Jada. This is an Italian food served up fast food style and includes paninis, margarita pizzas, and more. Now let's make our way back to the Apostrophe Bar and down the hallway to the Bacchanal Buffet, touted as the largest buffet in Las Vegas with over 250 menu items. We'll now make our way back towards the lobby. Here we will pass the Palace Court Tables on the right. This is a high roller room with roulette, blackjack, and craps tables. Back at the lobby area, we will continue forward onto the other side where you will find Cafe Americano. At Cafe Americano, you can enjoy the classic American dishes as well as Latin dishes, all made with high quality ingredients for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they even have a late night menu. Moving on down the hallway, you will find this coffee bar. They also have some cold drinks as well. Moving on, we will find the Seven Stars Hotel Registration, the Diamond Hotel Registration, elevators to the Augustus Tower and Octavius Tower, and the stairs that lead to the second level for the fitness center. This fitness center is huge and has numerous weight machines, free weights, dumbbells, ellipticals, treadmills, and stretching areas. Caesar's Palace is a huge complex and can get quite confusing to find your way around. So we hope this video helped you for your next stay in Las Vegas. We loved the pool area, and for the price we got our room for, it was quite a great value. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and let's go wander together!